Hi there, I'm Jay Eaker here at the Network Life Center in Louisville, Colorado. And uh, over the last couple of weeks, we've been having a conversation about pain. And last time we talked about how pain is, uh, if we want to change pain, we've got to bring some new energy to the system. And there's a couple of different options. We can add energy from the outside or we can bring, uh, or we can liberate energy from the inside. And when we bring our attention to the pain, we might find that there's some emotional energy that we experience there. And when we give ourselves permission to experience that, that's actually energy being liberated from the system, liberated from the pain. Uh, because pain is really just sequestered energy. It's energy that our nervous system has put on lockdown. It's used our posture and used tension to lock that energy down because it's decided that it's not safe for us to experience. And uh, that maybe have been a useful and necessary strategy at some point in our life, but life changes and we grow up and things change and that strategy no longer becomes useful in our life. And when that happens, that energy can start to come to the surface and often we experience that as pain. Uh, specifically, there are a couple of different situations in life where that can happen. First of all, uh, if our nervous system is really overwhelmed already and there's a lot of resources being used to sequester energy in our system, and then we encounter some stress, that might trigger uh, our nervous system to get overwhelmed and our nervous system will decide that you know we don't have enough resources to dedicate to continuing to contain all this energy and so the energy starts to kind of come to the surface. and um, we can often experience that as pain. And in that process, it's a kind of a process of discovering how it is that we disconnected from ourselves. And although that's painful and uh, uncomfortable, it's a necessary common part of the healing process. Uh, secondarily, uh, people often come to the office and they're experiencing pain, but upon talking to them, we discover that they're in some transition, some big uh, developmental stage in their life maybe, or a transition in their life where they're already feeling and doing and thinking something new. And so, like we'd said before, the pain is really energy that's bound up in relationship with our old life. And so they're already sort of moving into their new life. And so that energy is trying to come to the surface and there might be some resistance to that. There might be some parts of them that are not so sure that it wants that energy to come to the surface. And so that might show up as something that's uncomfortable or might look like pain. In that process, uh, it's our job is to sort of refine and transform our relationship to that energy that was previously bound in the tension. And in either case, um, the, the solution is to bring our attention to the pain. Our attention is really powerful. It's like an enzyme. And when we bring our attention to the pain, it kind of causes that to start to digest and unfold and evolve. Uh, or you could look at it as a lubricant. Um, these healing rhythms, they're going to happen in our life anyway. Life is kind of, kind of, force those things to happen anyway and when we bring our attention to it it sort of lubricates the process and can kind of bring some uh, smooth it out or bring some ease to it so next time in the last video on pain we're going to um, be giving you some specific strategies for uh, bringing your attention to pain and what to look for uh, but until then if you found this interesting or useful please like it or share it or uh, leave a comment because that helps people who are looking for this important information find it on the web so I look forward to next time.